absolutely flying. What's going on guys? It's been a little bit uh, since I've been here on YouTube, but i uh, going to bring you along this little project I got going for um, Hyundai with the Kona Electric. This is going to be my last and final concept um, on this campaign, It's Your Journey. And I'm really excited because it's basically coming into the world of these professional longboarders and I basically wanted to step inside their creative process and what they do and kind of get out of my comfort zone because I've never really shot anything like that before. Essentially what this concept is, is meeting up with other creatives, having that collaborative effort, and then of course just trying to create dynamic content out there. The main part with the Kona though, is to use the Kona as a tool for filming. That being said, we got like a suction cup mount that we're gonna use, uh, a buddy of theirs is gonna bring it, so we wanna get a lot of like, um, stuff with the hood and the car also filming them going downhill because it's pretty hard to shoot any of that um, outside the window without being like reckless driving or any of that we want to be as safe as possible but uh, overall it's the concept is just trying to use the Kona and being able to keep up with them it's very quick uh, it's very quiet so you can communicate pretty easy um, so yeah it's kind of the goal about to go pick up Bobby, and then we're gonna meet Brandon and Adrian, and got another guy, Holland, who's gonna meet us from LA, so it should be fun. There's probably gonna be quite a bit of challenges, but that's what we do. That's what it's about, being a creative, so uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, so we made it out here with Brandon. We're also gonna introduce his buddy, Adrian, here in a second, but he's gonna walk through exactly what we're gonna be shooting and filming out here, so I'll let him do it. Kick okay, ass. Yeah, so we're out here on a road called uh, Yerba Buena. Adrian, can I tell people about this road? Yeah. <laughs> we're out here at an undisclosed road in Southern California. And uh, today we're gonna do a little warm ups. This is a little bit more of a chill kind of hill, a lot of grip. Cool. Speeds aren't faster than 30, 35 miles an hour. And we're gonna basically work in from this one to another road next by, a little more technical, Perfect. and finish off on a road called Deer Creek, which is just absolutely insane and absolutely beautiful. So Sweet. it's gonna be tight. Same. Little Mavic 3 uh, here. Got the two to five stop on, it's gonna be pretty sick. Get some cinematic footage of them rolling out. We're here, gonna film them bombing this first hill. Um, they're gonna warm up and do all that stuff. Um, so I'm gonna see what we get. And in the next one, we're gonna try some other different ways to actually capture this. And I was following them for a bit, and these dudes absolutely just disappeared out of sight so fast. Um, it's interesting, it's hard to kind of keep them in motion, so I think the next run, I'm gonna get probably quite a bit ahead of them to actually be able to find them and then tune in where they're at. There's also, this valley has a ton of power lines too, so I gotta be careful, but um, it'll be fun to follow them in the car as well and just get some. All right, so we got to a, another little spot um, further down the hill so we can actually get some footage of them um bombing down here get ahead of them in time to get some you know pull off some shots so they're passing us now So crazy. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> oh, it looks sick, man. That's killer. Damn, yeah. the light looks money right there, too. Yeah, look. Looks great. Good job, guys. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's cool, man. That was a much better spot to actually yeah. be set up. Yeah. I'm next to right now, top of this little peak is the top of the next run. Okay. I want to just kind of drive up that with you. Cool. I think there's one really beautiful corner. It's like a left hairpin that would be cool. And then even getting just a vantage point kind of from the top seeing this. Okay, sweet. So. I think a good, this might be a good spot too, to get footage of you guys riding past us on foot. Yeah. Rock and roll. All right, let's do it. It's really hard to try to find a safe way to follow someone um, hanging out the side of the window. Like we don't want to do any of that. Um, so for now, I think we're going to pivot, switch gears, and use the car as a more or less highlighting prop to have them frame up in the middle of the car coming at me. I'm going to be in a lead car shooting out the back of it, and I'm going to have the lights of the Kona 
have the rider come in the lights of the Kona blast behind him and me just get like a POV and just see what we get. But I think a hero image like that is really special and utilizing the Kona as like a photo element and kind of enhance an image that way because what we had in mind for filming just isn't gonna work and it's too dangerous. So gonna stay away from that and just keep what we know and get creative and adapt. So should be sick. So pretty, man. The light is shaping up. It's looking really primo. Um, it's going to be really nice. I think a little sunset. It's not really any clouds, but it's going to be sweet. I love driving this Kona. Uh, it's so quiet, so peaceful. Uh, I feel like I'm floating basically the whole time because it's just light and uh, yeah, it's just different than anything else I've ever driven. So got plenty of charge. Charged up last night. So we've been driving a lot too running everybody back and forth from the hill, um, getting some runs in, so it's been nice, but it is uh, a beautiful little stroll out here. I have... Whoa, whoa, holy cow, dude. So are they bombing down that way? This is insane. Holy cow. First, I think you're perfect spot. Yeah, perfect, that sounds great. So um, the light's dipping pretty quick. Um, we had to shoot before we could really talk about anything. So I had them come up, got a bunch of really fun lifestyle stuff, them open this up, getting geared up to actually bomb this hill. Uh, it's pretty steep and they're getting going really quick. We had some good drone stuff. Now we're gonna actually do the shot I was talking about earlier because the lights dip back low enough. I'm gonna have the lights of the Hyundai blasting behind them as they ride at me. So that's gonna be pretty sick. Um, maybe a few drone shots, but uh, we'll see what we have time for and kind of dive into the rest. But we need to go pick them up now and race back up here and do it all over again. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Okay, you just go on your cue, yep. Good, go. Nice. Because I, I want to try, we'll do one more because I don't want the brake lights. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. On you. What do you want to do? Let's do one more. Okay. And we'll call it in. Yeah. We'll call it good. Cool. Yeah. All right, run it. A little bit less. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Cool, cool. He was like, slow down, slow down. Mm -hmm. More, 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 and then, they sh then it came sick, dude. Cool. Yeah, we, we locked into her at the end, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we just wrapped. Um, it's pretty oh, fast yeah. and the furious. It was uh, kind of hard to coordinate and understand like how to position cars and like get the Hyundai to come closer, but then like radio backward and speed up. But I think it's like their um, friendship and like they're trusting each other, knowing the distance they're gonna have between each other, uh, ultimately, played a huge part, so that was really sweet. Um, we ended up getting some pretty sweet photos and shots from it, uh, which was the whole idea. Um, it was pretty tough to film from back there just because there's so many chaotic, um, just different variables that pop up. So, but for what we wanted to do and set out, we absolutely did it, which was really fun. I wish we could have filmed more with the vehicle and used it as a little bit more of a tool, but it ended up being a prop at the end, which is really cool. So it still worked out. Um, we'll kind of get some feedback from the fellas, but uh, it was pretty fun. Where it is for me, dude, I always imagined California having really rough up roads. Yeah. And these three roads right next to each other are all completely different styles yeah. and beautiful perfect. and perfect, perfect yeah. pavement, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's cool. <laughs> so, uh, Holland yeah. came in, he came and rescued us uh, today. He came and drove and picked everybody up and was able to cut down a ton of time and maneuver the last little shot that we needed. Um, otherwise, I don't know how we would have been able to do it. So, 
Thank you, Holland. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming out, yeah, man, it was spending a the time, dude. It was guys. just really fun. Like, I didn't know anything about the sport, and then I, now I know how fast all these, like, seconds count down and how quick and how many people you need to be able to pull off. It's like, okay, we need someone here, 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 yeah. and here, someone droning, someone doing this, someone to follow, because you might only have that one opportunity. So yeah. that's what was good for us. I was like, man, we got out here early, but if you wanted peak light, you would have to have a serious team to pull off every facet you wanted because there's just not enough time like it's just so it just made me have a ton of respect and, and patience to be able to understand like what goes into it anyway it was fun man but yeah, i appreciate you guys fun. coming out thank you man yeah, Garrett, so, we appreciate it dude it was thank good you, yeah hopefully nice. got some good stuff i'm sure we did yeah hopefully. but we'll link up again and do we can do all kinds of fun yeah. stuff. okay so we are back um Yesterday was pretty fun. I feel like we made a lot of challenging uh, decisions. Obviously the suction cup didn't work, so uh, the mount for the camera on the car. So it was tough because initially we set out to have um, that whole suction cup mount to be on the front of the Kona and be able to film the, uh, the whole way down and all that stuff, but sometimes you gotta pivot. And we did and made some uh, good collective decisions just try to get as much as we could, use the car as a prop, things like that, to get some really sweet shots. Um, we dialed in a, a good little team to be able to have a leading car and then have a trail car in the back, uh, which is obviously the Kona. So um, it was really fun, learned a whole lot. I figured there would be some challenges that came with it. I figured there would be uh, a race against the clock with daylight and all that good stuff. And if you really wanted to capture something pretty epic, you'd have to have a big team. But for the small team that we had, it was awesome. Had a blast. Holland uh, was a lifesaver. Of course, Adrian and Brandon and then Bobby that was with me. So. It was great. Overall, I feel like we got some really great stuff, some good lifestyle content. It'd be fun to, to tackle that project again and um, see what we get. But all that being said, this whole uh, It's Your Journey campaign with Hyundai was a blast for me. And honestly, uh, they gave me a lot of creative uh, flexibility and trusted my visions to have all these different ideas come to life and trusted in me to push the boundaries with car partnerships. So, and I just wanted to, you know, initially when I was on the call with them, I said, hey, I really wanna push the boundaries here. I wanna do stuff that hasn't really been done or evolve it in such a way that hasn't been done and just push as much as I can to make this car, um, you know, insanely appealing. And it's a great vehicle. And um, so yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. I think it's up to us as creatives to really push that and to hold each other accountable for creating, you know, really dynamic content and make art out of what we do. That's the whole point. It's not just uh, in my head, I'm like, how can I do this differently? How can I do this better? How can I really step this up? Um, how can I push myself? So anyway, all around, I feel like it was a really successful um, campaign. I had the car for like five months and was able to knock out different ideas along the way. And um, yeah, I can't wait for the next. So thank you guys for watching this video and getting a lot of the in-between moments and all that stuff. Catch you on the next one.